Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, where today we will discuss the best gamepad for mobile on the market. Without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. You can connect many standard controllers with a smartphone, but few will feel as perfectly made for mobile gaming and portability as the Razer Kishi. This controller efficiently turns your Android phone into a Nintendo Switch-like handheld as it clamps controls onto each side of the phone's display. This controller supports a broad array of Android phones as long as they use USB-C and are between 145.3 mm and 163.7 mm tall, 68.2 mm and 78.1 mm wide, and 7 mm and 8.8 mm thick. There's also an iOS version that'll support everything from the iPhone XS or newer, excluding the iPhone SE 2. Razer also has a Microsoft X Cloud specific model. The two sides are connected through an elastic tether with a plastic plate in the middle. You slip one end of the phone into the right side USB connector and the other over the top. The ends sit in rubber indentations and the plastic rests on the back of the phone. This gives you somewhere to rest your fingers that's not slippery like the backs of most smartphones. And that's even with the rear of the controller, rather than recessed. When you're not using the Kishi, that plate snaps the two sides together. If your phone or tablet is running low while you're gaming with the controller still attached, hook up a charging cable to the controller itself to get the device charging. Plus, it is designed for long gaming sessions, and the controller feels excellent to hold and has optimized button placements to make sure each button press feels natural and intuitive. Another well-rounded controller, the SteelSeries Stratus Duo, is filled with buttons, two joysticks, a four-way directional pad, four action buttons, two shoulder buttons, two triggers, and three front-facing buttons. It's an excellent controller to the Status XL, thanks to the new, more comfy design and the rechargeable battery, which the XL doesn't have. Best for Android phone and PC users only. It brings a real wireless console gaming experience to Android, Windows, VR, etc. No drivers or software required for this controller. With the flick of a switch, swap between 2.4 GHz wireless for Windows and Steam and Bluetooth wireless for mobile on Android, Oculus Go, and Samsung Gear VR. You can effortlessly pair and play all 5,000 plus controller-enabled Steam games and enjoy full Steam Big Picture mode and Steam Link support. It uses magnetic hall effect triggers that are more durable than their traditional counterparts, maintaining their snappy and reliable performance over a lifetime of use. The full-size ergonomic design and clickable analog joysticks give you precision and performance, whether you're carefully aiming or button mashing. Besides that, it is provided with a lithium-ion battery that offers 20 plus hours of constant playtime and can also recharge while playing employing the included micro USB cable. Steel Series had a fabulous controller for iPhone users in the Nimbus controller, but the brand decided to make it even more helpful for the modern gamer. The newer Steel Series Nimbus Plus keeps the original design primarily intact, but it has turned what was once a battery that could last 20 hours into one that can last for over 50 hours of gaming. That's certain to last a lot longer among charges than your iPhone. When you want to top it up, you can use the same lightning cable for your phone. The controller will feel normal in hand for PlayStation fans, with its proportional analog sticks and its controls match those found on most gaming controllers. You'll get clickable thumbsticks, triggers and shoulder keys, a full D-pad and your conventional fare of buttons for your right thumb. This controller also comprises a mount for holding your iPhone. And, if you ever need to keep using it on more giant screens, it'll operate with iPads and Apple TV systems as well. The clickable L3 and R3 buttons allow for more input options across a variety of games. It has a new trigger design that features Hall Effect magnetic sensors for a lifetime of precision and a consistently smooth feel. For optimizing compatibility with all iOS devices, we strongly suggest that you update the controller by downloading SteelSeries Engine from the SteelSeries website. As another of the more well-established names on this listing, 
It's no wonder to see Razer turn in one of the more elite mobile controllers. It can connect over Bluetooth or wired through one of the USB-C cables that Razer bundles in the box. The controller also has a built-in dock for your phone, which slides upwards and should have no difficulty handling most Android handsets. Our favorite bit is the associative app, which allows you to map buttons and customize the analog stick's sensitivity. This controller's drawback is it's an expensive controller, one we'd only recommend for the most ardent of mobile gamers. For ultra-fast responses, you can enable hair trigger mode via two additional switches on the controller's underside. The Razer Mecha tactile action buttons give a unique combination of a soft, cushioned touch with crisp tactile feedback. You can enjoy both the freedom to game wirelessly with the Bluetooth connection and the option to plug in for wired connectivity to ensure extra assurance during competitive play. Microsoft's latest Xbox Core controller doesn't vary much from the former Xbox One controller. It has a somewhat different look to it but otherwise highlights all the same buttons and controls, though the D-pad has been lightly redesigned in style, more like the Elite Controller's concave pad. That's not to state there are no improvements. Microsoft has changed how the controller will feel in your hands. The form is unchanged, but the controller highlights textured grip in more places, including the triggers, to provide you a better hold while you're playing. One vital upgrade makes this a strong mobile option and that's the upgrade to Bluetooth LE for a lower power connection with tablets and smartphones. The latest iteration of the strong Xbox wireless controller doesn't quite seem like a next-gen controller in the identical way that Sony's DualSense does because of its absence of flashy new traits. Nevertheless, subtle changes to the D-pad and the new share button have changed it in minor ways that will resonate with every game you play, regardless of which generation of Xbox you're utilizing it with and an outstanding choice for gaming on PCs, phones, and tablets. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.